So we're stood in front of the wicket or the door for the kiln. So the thickness of this wall is about that thick. Um, and this is all bricked up each time we fire the kiln. These kilns, this one holds 23,000 tiles. Our biggest kiln holds 30,000 tiles. They take about 10 tons to fire, which sounds a lot, or 10 tons of coal rather to fire, sounds a lot, but we don't use much energy in the production of the tiles. All our machines are very small, they are one horsepower machines. The wind, that's our energy here. The wind dries the tiles, all the sheds are open. So it's the wind whistling down the Humber, that's our energy. So once everything's dry, and it's got to be what's called bone dry before we fire them, the, the, the tiles are stacked end on end, up to about five or six high with pots on top of the kiln, on top of the tiles. The kiln's lit usually on a Sunday morning early, one firebox. By Monday morning, we're starting to fire properly. All three fireboxes have been lit and the temperature will rise steadily about 30 degrees an hour, all the way up to a thousand degrees. That's usually on Wednesday night. Then we'll then hold that temperature right through till Thursday morning. And then at which point the kiln, all the fireboxes will be clamped down, the chimney damper will be put in, and the kiln will be left to cool then for about four days right through to the following Wednesday. And it's two days to unload and two days to reload. So it's a two week cycle. And that's how both these yards produce, you know, between the two, we produce around about 25,000 tiles a week.